Welcome back. Let's take a live look over campus Marshes Park. It is very, very cold out there. If you're heading out, you may want to bundle up and then bundle up some more. Let's turn things over to Hallie to find out exactly <laughs> how cold it's going to get. And Hallie, you've been talking about snow all morning long, too. Yeah, the snow arrives tonight, Simon. The cold stays with us all weekend into next week, probably the following weekend too, with temperatures running below average. So when we look at the cold weekend, our wind chills stay in the single digits during the day. And of course, we've been talking about below zero wind chills for the morning. More light snow tonight, up to two inches. I think a lot of us will fall between that maybe three quarters of an inch to an inch and a half overnight. And then the Arctic air, as I mentioned, that just keeps on going. 11 degrees right now at Detroit Metro Airport. Plymouth, you're at 14, along with Belleville, 12 degrees in Gross Hill and Wyandotte. Heading to the north, it's 14 in Wixom, 13 in Lake Orion, and we're looking at 15 degrees currently in Romeo. So temperatures are in the teens. It just doesn't feel that way. One of the colder spots, Adrian, coming in at 8 degrees. We do have a wind gust of 31 miles per hour in Pontiac, 23 in Howell, and up to 22 in Adrian. So you can see how it impacts, certainly, and how it feels throughout the day today with those winds gusting about 20 to 25. Puts us at one below with our wind chill in Ann Arbor and Pontiac, seven below in Adrian and Detroit. You're at six below with your current wind chill. So we are definitely a cold start. Highs near 20 today are wind chills. When you see 20 degrees, you're looking at a wind chill of eight. And that's what you have to remember when you're going to spend any time outdoors today. Those winds allowing in the cold air, allowing lake effect snow showers, especially on the west side of the state off of Lake Michigan. We've seen a few streaming over in our area, and that continues for the morning. I don't think we'll see a whole lot for the afternoon. And then we'll wait on our next system. All of this shaded purple winter weather advisories all lined up for the system tonight. So we go through our hour-by-hour -hour forecast. We'll see the clouds, maybe a few breaks time to time this afternoon. I wouldn't count on too many of those. After 9, 10 o'clock, we start to notice the snow filling in. It starts from the west. It moves across the area to the east. Should be wrapping up by 4 a.m. So it really is a, a pretty quick duration type of event. And then tomorrow looks generally quiet. Tomorrow we could even see some clearing by the afternoon or into the evening. Snowfall amounts maybe up to an inch, a little less for areas like Lenaway and Monroe County, about an inch or so, maybe a little more in, in Ann Arbor, so House, so through Washtenaw, Livingston County. So when I look at things, again, falling between about a half to an inch and a half. Then we jump into Monday. I want to show you the next system coming in. Again, it looks like it's the second half of the day, Monday into Tuesday. We'll work on that one as far as snowfall amounts. It looks like it's quick hitting, so once again, doesn't leave a lot of opportunity for big accumulations. Temperatures today, 20 degrees for a high, of course, feeling colder, 11 for a low. We'll stay in the teens Sunday and Monday, and it, it's cold, Zyma, all the way through next weekend. Brr, Hallie. Thanks so much. All right, well, getting ready for the Super Bowl, 